All right, so now we're doing the 2020 AOIME problem six, probably the last problem I'll film tonight. Define a sequence recursively by T1, T sub one equals 20, and T sub two equals 21, and T sub n equals five times T sub n minus one plus one over 25 times T sub n minus two. I'll tell you what I like to do. I like to convert this T sub n minus one and T sub n minus two into words that my brain makes more sense of. So I like to say it as T sub n equals five times the previous term plus one over 25 times the second previous term. That makes a lot more sense. For all n greater than or equal to three. Now it's gonna keep going, but you shouldn't. You should just try and get a term or two and see what happens so you can kind of get a feel for the problem. So let's do t sub three. It must be five times the previous term. So you've got 20, 21. This is the previous term to the term that we're on. So it's five times 21 plus one over 25 times uh, the second previous term, which is 20. Okay. Um, by the way, some of you probably know some super sweet shortcuts on recursion problems, and you might think that you need those in this problem, and you might also think if you don't know the super sweet shortcuts for recursion and you've never been good at recursion, you need to quiet that part of your brain down if you're not comfortable with recursion and just go forward, and we'll talk about that in a second. First, let's get T sub 3. So this is 105 plus 1 is 106, and 2 times 25 is 50. Throw on the 0 to get 500. Simplify, divide by 2 to get 53 over 250. And that is T sub 3. So we kind of have a feel for it. We see it's going to get nasty. Let's go ahead and keep reading. Then T sub 2020 can be written as a fraction, and we've already got one going, so maybe that's a good thing, where P and Q are relatively prime positive integers, find P plus Q, right? We've read this, this is the third time on this test we've had this ending. You should be very familiar with it by now. Now here's what you have to tell yourself. You might be thinking 2020 is so far away, how am I gonna get there in time in 12 minutes? And, and you have to just remind yourself, on recursion problems, typically a pattern will develop, right? So you have to have kind of a base uh, of faith in that if you keep going, at some point you're going to get to a pattern. And so if you don't have that, you're just gonna panic and give up and go to the next question. So kind of have that assumption that yes, I just need to keep going. This problem is really about perseverance and it's gonna get some horrible calculations here in a minute, but you have to persevere and get to the point where it repeats and just trust that it's going to, right? That's the light at the end of the tunnel that you have to focus on. So we do it again. T sub four is equal to, um, it's five times the previous term, which is 53 over 250 plus one over uh, 25 times the second previous term. But now this is the second previous term. So it's 25 times 21. Now uh, the five will go into 250 50 times and then we can make this 50 over 50. So you're going to get 103 over 50, right? Changing this to 50 over 50 and adding it to this. And then that's over 25 times 21, which is over one. I didn't multiply this because we don't really need to worry about that just yet. Uh, flip it over and multiply. Um, and you're going to get uh, 103 over 21 times 25, one over that, because it's this over this, you reciprocal and multiply, right? Um, so now what do we've got? Uh, I, yeah, I'm gonna erase this part so I don't get confused. So 103 over 50 times all this. Now 103 happens to be prime. Um, you might already know that 101 and 103 are what's called twin primes. They tell you that in one of the AOPS books. I don't remember which one, but anyways, um, that's about all we can do. Let's just leave it like this. And so we're going to get that this term is 103 over 50 times 21 times 25. Um, then let's go to the next one, T sub five. And this is going to be again, five times 103 over 50 times 21 times 25 plus one 
over 25 times the second previous term, 53 over 250. So this 25 will cancel with the 250 to leave 10. This 5 can cancel, I don't know, let's do this one to leave 5. And now we're going to get 103 over 50 times 21 times 5 plus 1. And we need to multiply this with the reciprocal of the denominator, which is 10 over 53. Okay. Oh, we really don't want to do this. You just don't. You kind of feel it, right? It's not going to be an enjoyable process. Um, maybe we can make this, yeah, let's just make this written like this one. So 103 over 50 times 21 times 5 plus 50 times 21 times 5 over 50 times 21 times 5. And then this whole thing is times 10 over 53. Now I'm going to cancel this 10 with this to leave a 5 and this to leave a 5. Again, why are we not multiplying it out? Because what's the point? You're going to be breaking it back down again later and even ask yourself what numbers go into that big number that I made. So don't bother. Just keep it as factored form. We're not in a final answer state yet, so it's okay. Okay, so then uh, this is going to give us um, we do need to simplify this now. I guess we kind of have to. Um, so 5 times 50 will be 250 times 21. So we're going to have 103 plus 25 times 10 um, times, that's 250, uh, times 21 over 5 times 21 times 5 times 53. Okay, so uh, we can't really cancel right now. We're going to have to add and see what happens. So 21 times 25, think of it like quarters. Every four quarters is a dollar, and you've got five groups of four quarters here, so you've got $5.25. So this is 5,200, uh, 525 times 10. 5,250 plus 103 is 5,353 5, 3 over... 5 times 21 times 5 times 53. And we finally see a little break in the problem. Something nice, right? This 53 is going to cancel with 5353 to make 101. So now we're going to have 101 over 25 times 21. 101 over 25 times 21. And I will move uh, over to this part of the board because we're out of space over here. This is t sub 5, so now let's do t sub 6. And t sub 6 is going to equal, again, go back if you don't remember, 5 times the previous term plus 1, but you should have the hang of it by now. 5 times 101 over 25 times 21 plus 1 over 25 times the second previous term, which is 103 over 50 times 21 times 25. See how much easier it is to cancel things out if you don't multiply it? You see the quick cancellation. You don't have to worry about that. All right, so then this 5 is going to cancel here, um, and we're going to get 101. 5 times 21 is 105, plus 105 over 105 over 103, and that's over I'm going to change this to 5 times 10 times 21, and 5 times 21 is 105 times 10. So 5 times 21 is 105. Throw the 0 on, you would get 1,050, right? But we're separating it. Why don't we do that? Because we can now multiply by 105 on top and bottom, and all the 105s will cancel. So now we have 101 plus 105 is 206, over 103 over 10. Well, then this is really over 1, right? So I'll take the denominator, which is a fraction, I'll reciprocal it and multiply. 206 times 10 over 103. This goes in twice, we get 20. This looks like, oh my gosh, after these crazy numbers and lots of you know big numbers to work with, we're finally making some progress. Let's hope we get 21 for the next term, and then we're scot-free. I'm going to move this out of the way so I have space for it. Okay, so uh, now we need 5 times the previous term, 5 times 20 plus 1. 
over 25 times the second previous term, which is 101 over 25 times 21. Drilling the point home, don't multiply things out if you don't have to, just leave it as is. So this is 101 uh, over 101 over 21, which we're gonna reciprocal and multiply, and we love this because it's 21, and you can see it will now repeat the process. This is what you're hoping for in a recursion problem. If it does this, it wasn't that bad and we didn't have to use some crazy recursive techniques, which I'm not even all that good at myself. So we just see how many terms are in the repeated process. One, two, three, four, five terms. So every five terms will end with this one. Okay then, what do we want? The 20, 2020th term, since that's a multiple of five, it will be this one on the end. And again, 101, if I have 21 quarters, I have 525, $5.25. Add this up to get 626, which is what they want you to do, right? They want you to add P and Q. So the answer is 626.